So ATP, well ATP is actually short for adenosine triphosphate. Pen's running out. Um, adenosine triphosphate. So what that is, is a molecule basically made up of smaller molecules. So we have adenosine and then three phosphates. Now it doesn't matter whether you're um, consuming carbs, fats, proteins or all of them. Eventually it's going to end up as ATP. You know, that's what we're breaking it down to. We want the ATP um, because that's our you know, universal um, form of currency, energy currency in the body. When we talked about the sliding filament theory earlier, we mentioned about the meaty myosin grabbing hold of the actin and sliding the actin over the top, and that's what was creating the muscle contraction. Well, it's the energy from ATP that is causing that contraction. That's what we're using for that contraction. So we've got to break down this ATP. So what we do is we get rid of this bond, so we break it down there. That releases energy. That energy is what we then use for the myosin to do that to the actin. So that's, that's where that's going. Then what we're left with is adenosine and two phosphate groups. So that then becomes ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate. So now we need to get another phosphate group from somewhere to add it back onto the adenosine triphosphate, or sorry, the adenosine diphosphate to turn it back into adenosine triphosphate. So we have this continuous cycle called the ATP cycle where we go ATP into ADP back into ATP. And this can happen um, you know, three different ways. We have three different energy systems that, that can do this for us.